For nearly 70 years, Japanese group Nihon Hidankyo has been fighting for a world without nuclear weapons. Now, it's won the Nobel Peace Prize. Also known as Hibashuka, which translates to atom bomb survivors, the group was formed by witnesses to the only two nuclear bombs ever to be used in a war, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They've dedicated their lives to sharing their testimonies to make sure nuclear weapons are never used again. The co-head of the group was in shock upon hearing the news. I can't believe it. Never did I dream this could happen. They selected us? I thought those fighting hard for peace in Gaza would deserve it. The chairman of the Nobel Committee praised the group for contributing to the establishment of the nuclear taboo. But when asked what message it sent to countries currently at war, he simply reiterated the committee's statement. I hope all leaders take the time to listen to the painful and dramatic stories of the Hubakusha that reminds us that these weapons should never be used again, ever. The Nobel Committee has steered away from more controversial nominees for the Peace Prize. There had been speculation that UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres or the UN agency supporting Palestinians, known as UNRWA, were being considered. But the threat of nuclear conflict is one that looms over the fighting in both Ukraine and the Middle East. The Russian president has repeatedly hinted he may be prepared to use tactical nuclear weapons if so-called red lines are crossed, threats that have restrained Western support for fear of escalation.